guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. How are you? How is everyone today? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. So, what are we doing today? We are going to use Pouring Masters paint again, the acrylic pouring paint. And I really wanted to use a lot of different colors. I picked out really beautiful colors. Um, the thing I want to say about this paint, and I came to realize this last night, I was just thinking about this paint, um, because it, it, the kit itself is good, you know, meaning you get a lot with it, um, you get, get a lot of colors to choose from, it comes with pouring medium, which isn't that great, I don't know why they either chose that pouring medium or made it, it's really not that great, um, what I realize is that the paint is not the worst paint. Um, there are other paints I've used that are much worse than this in quality. Um, the paint is not bad. Is it top of the line? No, but it's not bad. It's pretty good. It's that it's limited. It's just limited with what you could do with it, unfortunately. Um, but if you use the right techniques with it, um, and that's just through experimenting, um, you know, or you could see what I've done and say, okay, well, you know, Dutch pour doesn't work, um, you know, certain, certain ones just don't work, uh, with this paint, then you can actually make really nice paintings with certain techniques, like the swipe technique did not work great at all, um, on another channel I saw her make, I tried to do a Dutch pour that didn't work for her. Um, I'm sure it wouldn't work for me either. You know, what I mean. Um, so yeah, so I am going to do um, two paintings today, and I am going to just you know experiment a little more. And I do have I have a, a few other pouring mediums, but I don't have enough of them to actually like, do a painting. But I do have some deco art left. I've totally forgot like a like a half of a huge bottle of uh, deco art. So I may do one more, uh, you know, experimenting with it with that medium with this paint um, after this. But today we're experimenting with a. We're going to use the technique of using the bottom of of a um, either a water bottle or a soda bottle. Okay. So I have two of those. And so painting one, we're going to use a uh, flow troll. So I've already strained my flow troll in here, as I always do, because flow troll stuff can settle at the bottom of the, bar uh, the barrel, pfft, the bottom of the um, bottle. Thank you. And you don't want chunks of stuff. Um, just like settling in your painting, then you'll have to pick it out. Not cool. So we're using Floetrol. I have not used any water, no silicone. Um, I really honestly compared with the silicone that I got with the Primal Flow, the Pouring Master silicone is not that great either. It's okay. It's not the best. Um, yeah, so anyway, so on painting number one, um, we're doing two five by sevens, and um, in both ones, the technique is like in you know, the bottom of the um, bottle, okay? And we have, what's the name of this? 24 karat gold metallic. We have grass green, we have peacock green, which I cannot wait to try. Um, and we have lemon lime. So that's in painting one. I just wanted to use their colors because the colors are really, really pretty. And actually they stay pretty bright. So, you know, that's that's a good uh, part about this paint as well. So in painting number two, we're gonna do the same technique. We're just using different colors. and But this time we're gonna be using the Montmartre acrylic flow medium. Let's see how that works with that. We shall see. So we have silver dollar metallic. We have cerulean blue, which is actually really pretty. Midnight blue, which is really gorgeous. 
and sky blue. I thought the silver would go nice with the blues and the gold would go nice with the greens. And these greens are really pretty. I have to say, I'm not usually like, my favorite color is not green, but I have to say in this kit, um, I really love the greens. So that is what we're doing today, okay? We're gonna just experiment a little more. I may do the deco art, I may not, I'm not sure. Um, of course, I am going to continue to use this paint. Um, yeah, so I may just like make a painting one day and uh, use a deco art. You know, we'll see. So I'm, I'm going to continue using this paint. I just want to try out different techniques that work with this paint because it's unfortunate. You know, you should be able to use the paint and do whatever you want with it. Um, you should be able to, like the Arteza tubes, you know, um, like, you know, these guys here, no matter what, oh, it's backwards and upside down, uh, no matter what I do with it, it works, you know, um, so that's unfortunate that this paint is limited in my, in my point of view, um, but, all right, so, let me just show you very quickly, um, oh god, this painting, uh, <laughs> so, this dried pretty well, um, you know, not too many complaints about the uh, little 4x4 four four inch uh, wood piece that was the reverse dip. There is a little texture in there, which is fine because that goes with the kind of quote unquote flower like pattern, uh, but not like bubbles or cracks or anything. Um, but I really, I still, you know, I really do like that. I think that's very pretty, and I really love, I love black and white. I think it's. Um, I don't know. It's one of my favorite color combinations. Anyway, <laughs> this thing. Um, yeah, I mean, it dried okay. That's not the point. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I hate it a little less than yesterday, which doesn't is not saying a lot. But, um, you know, I just don't like the way it came out at all. I mean, this was an absolute mistake here. See this? See this and see that? Um, that was like an error on my part, um, like I had, you know, I just kind of gave up at some point, I was so frustrated, and like I wanted to dump a whole gallon of silicone and see if that did anything, um, but what happened was the paint was already drying so fast, um, that like it was just like slipping, and then it got a little bit of color in there, and the color mixed up with the silicone, and it just kind of like dripped. I mean, some people may like this. I you know, more power to you. <laughs> I mean, I know as artists, you know, we could be more critical of our own work than other people. But for me, you know, I really don't like this painting whatsoever. I'm probably going to wipe it down, um, you know, and get like whatever like silicone residue is on there off and like probably reuse it, you know. There's no point in throwing out the canvas. I'm not going to do that. And yeah, so that's that. Alrighty. So I will be back in a minute and we will get started. Alright guys, I'll see you in a sec.
Hey guys, I am back. So, I love them both. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, again, you are limited with this paint. Um, I did do a technique that I knew would work, which is nothing wrong with that because at least I could use the paint. But I'm telling you, the mediums that I used, either one created much less bubbles. I did not have to torch the heck out of either one of them. I did torch it twice just to be sure because I'm literally paranoid about these paints um, with the bubbles and it ruining the painting, you know. Um, but the Floetrol and the Montmart both worked really, really well. Uh, the Montmart was a little more fluid. Um, but, and I did actually have to add a little more Floetrol before I poured. I did that off camera because the paints were a little too thick. But I'm telling you that either one of these, um, mediums worked so much better like there were barely any bubbles I did let it sit these paints um, I actually mixed them the night before and I let them settle for like I don't know eight to ten hours but then before I poured I did very gently mix them again because I did not want to create bubbles the flow troll when I did mix it did create bubbles in the little uh, cups but they quickly just dissipated and it was fine um, yeah so I am very very happy with both of them and actually the uh, video from yesterday I'll link it here um, when I use the tri art and what oh yes and the primal flow they too both created, I forgot to mention that, uh, less bubbles than the uh, U.S. Art Supply medium, which comes with the Pouring Master's paint, okay? That's what it comes with. That medium creates so many bubbles. So, I guess it is the medium. Um, I'm assuming at this point because really, you know, I'm not saying there were none, but so much less and I didn't have to sit here and literally put these suckers on fire to get the bubbles out so yeah so honestly I love these both I think they're beautiful I think the colors are bright um, honestly they do tend to dry pretty similar they don't darken so much so you know what I love these I would actually sell these as a set just because they just work and they complement one another kind of like a cool and a warm painting um, yeah and I just wanted to say you know speaking of selling I usually do not talk about this on here at all and you know as artists which we should be able to talk about it because you know we sell our art but I usually don't um, talk about it but I just wanted to say that I do have an Etsy shop um, honestly, I'm not too happy with Etsy right now at all. I actually just canceled my Etsy Plus because they're just not doing anything for me. And I actually haven't been, um, like uploading onto Etsy, like anything new. But, you know, if anyone is interested, you know, in like paintings I've done, like maybe, oh, like five four or five months ago and before that meaning years ago because I do have a couple of vintage pieces up there which um, one of them actually sold they're actually from the 90s um, sorry about my finger yeah it's up there um, I actually have a code that I created for Etsy so that will be in the description below as well but but paintings I've done on this channel, some of them are up there, but um, I, like I said, I haven't been putting anything more up there because I was really thinking of closing my Etsy altogether, um, but I may just leave it. And yeah, so, you know, if anyone is interested in purchasing anything that, you know, I've done on this channel, um, I am going to put my email address in the description below, okay? And yeah, so that's, you know, that's it. Just want to put that out there. 
Um, so yeah, that is it guys. So sometime this week, hopefully, I am going to be buying some um, stuff for the New Year's, the Lunar New Year, and I actually want to get started on those projects soon, and um, hopefully I can do that sometime. Hey guys, sorry about that. I must have hit Google. Google was listening in on me. I must have hit the wrong button. I'm like, Google, I don't want you to hear this. I don't need you to hear me. Um, anyway, guys, I apologize for that uh, little technical di difficulty. So, that is it for today, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. And, yeah, thank you for, um, I just want to say thanks again to all my new subscribers. Um, and also to everyone who's subscribed for a while. You know, I really do appreciate every wa everybody watching every day. Uh, your comments or your questions. Yeah, if anyone has any questions or just want to reach out to me, I always respond in one to two days at the latest, usually in the same day. All right, so thank you so much, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.